Hello, I'm Cheryl Teese, and I would like to demonstrate how to cast on for Tunisian crochet. To cast on for Tunisian crochet, it's really a three-step process. And you start by making a row of chains. So I have a slip knot already made. I'm going to put on my hook. And then to do the chain, it's yarn over and pull through that slip knot. So I have a new loop on my hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And you can see the chains that I'm making. When you count your chains, do not count the little slip knot down here, and do not count the loop that's on your hook. So we have one, two, three, four chains on the hook at this point. The pattern will tell you how many chains to make. So that's step one, making the row of chains. And then you need to do a foundation forward pass where you accumulate loops on your hook. And you can either work into each chain into the front, the top leg, or if you turn your chains over, you see little pearl bumps along the back. It makes an ever so slightly tidier edge if you work into the pearl bumps, so that's what I'm going to demonstrate. You insert your hook into that pearl bump, yarn over and draw up a loop. You now have two loops on your hook. Move to the next pearl bump, yarn over, pull up a loop, three, four, and five. So I have five loops on my hook. So what we've done, the first step is we made the initial chain, we completed the foundation forward pass. We now need to take these loops off so we can do the foundation return pass, which is yarn over, pull through one stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So the foundation, the, the cast on actually is complete. And what we have here is Tunisian fabric, even though we've not done any stitches other than cast on. But you'll be able to see the front vertical bars. You can see the back vertical bars. And actually, if I tip it forward, you can really see the back vertical bars much better. And you'll also notice a little chain or two strands, an upper and a lower strand, going across the top. And that's the basics of Tunisian fabric.